we are going to continue with updating products okay till now we have displayed the form and this was a result now what we are going to do to update any product first we have to fetch that particular product from the database and we have already got the id numbers using this id numbers we are going to fetch only that product from the database and we have to display inside this form so first we are going to work on that i will come here now below this section container i will be writing php code let me just write here php code and before writing php code first we have to give here method attribute only then we will be able to work with php form action and after this action itself let me just write here method method is equal to post and also we want to get the image so for image as i already told you we should be using this attribute eng type and this eng type will be equal to multi part let me just come here multi part form data okay this is very important you have to write this two attributes without this you will not be able to fetch the data and also you will not be able to send any data to the database so our method is post and we have to pass this n type multi part form data then classes we have already given now below this php code first i will be writing php syntax let me close this php syntax now here i will be writing condition if is set we have already got the variable if is set dollar get Okay, we have used get method to get the id number let me just show you our id number is stored inside this url so to get this id number we are using get method i will just come if this in this get if this edit variable is set only then i have to access this one so how can we access this i will just create one variable edit id you can give any names edit id is equal to using this get method i just want to access this okay previously we have seen to access any input field we write dollar post but to get data from the url we are going to use get method i will just write it here edit and let me just show you i will display this echo edit id save i will come here now if i just refresh this one okay echo and expected on line 22 let me just check for this i will come here okay i have to put semicolon save refresh again i am getting one error okay you should be very careful with this errors these are small errors if we are able to get the errors then we can easily resolve this one i will just refresh once now you can see id number 10 is displayed here and in my url also i am having the id as 10 so id 10 is displayed how i am getting this one previously we have already seen when i hover on this edit below you can see update.php question mark edit is equal to 10 so in my database this product id is 10 as soon as i click on this i am able to fetch that id now using this id whatever data i am having inside the database only that i have to get and i have to display here inside this form now we are able to successfully get the id now what we are going to do we are going to fetch the data i will come edit edit query edit query is equal to inside this we are just going to pass mysql like query and this is going to take two parameters first is our connection variable and second is our query first we have to select the data from the database so we are going to write select query select star from i want to select all the data from my products table if i write only this query whatever data i am having inside the database that will be fetched but i do not want this one i just want to give one more condition 
where we have to give this where condition it is very important my table column id is equal to this id what we have created i will copy this and inside this i am just going to store this id is nothing but in database what table we created in that what column we have given that you have to pass and this is the variable which we have created what i am telling Select all the data from my table product, but this ID should be equal to this one. Only then the data should be fetched. I will be writing if condition my SQL I num rows. Okay, as soon as we click on that, as soon as we click on update product, that product should be fetched from the database. So I am just checking if my number of rows is greater than one or not. If it is greater than one. Only then I should display the product. I will just write here edit query. Edit query. If it is greater than zero, only then I have to fetch. Let me open this, and here I will be closing. Again, I am just going going to open this PHP code. Now in between this, I am just going to display my entire form. I will copy this form, complete form, copy, cut from here, and inside this, I am just going to paste. Now, first, let me just display the image. This is the simple query we have written to get only that selected product from the database. Now, to fetch the data, we have to use one method: MySQLI fetch asoc. Below this, if I will be using while loop. If you do not use while loop, then also you will be getting the result because we are going to fetch only one data from the database. And here I will just write one variable: fetch data is equal to my SQLI fetch asoc. And inside this, I am just going to pass this edit query. edit query i will open this while outside i am just going to open and this closing closing while i will cut from here and inside this php i am just going to close this one okay we have already seen how to get the data from the database using this mysqli fetch asoc now let me just show you let me just show you the result i will just create one variable row And inside this, I'm just going to pass this one. Fetch data. I will write here price. Save this. I'm just going to refresh this one. Undefined variable connection. Okay, we have not included our connection file, so we will be getting this error. Okay, most of the people will get this error and they get confused. What they have to do next? Just include the connect file. I will just come on top, and inside this, I'm just going to write PHP include connect dot PHP. Let me just check for the name. Connect dot PHP. Okay, I will save this. Now I will refresh this one. Now the error has gone. Now I am just going to echo this price. I will just come down, echo, echo row. I will save. Refresh this one. Now you can see I am able to get the price of the product. Suppose if I come here. And if I remove this while, I will just remove this, and also I'm just going to remove, and I will be removing one while closing. I will save. I will refresh this one. And let me just remove this. Okay, what I have done, I have just removed the while loop, and whatever parameters I was having inside the while loop, I have just displayed that one. 
now i'll refresh this again i am able to fetch the data if you are having multiple data which you want to select from the database then you can use while loop and you can get the data but as of now for editing we need only one data so we are not using while loop directly we are going to fetch that product from the database and we will be displaying inside this form next session i will be showing you how to display the data inside the form and also how to display the images and everything.